This video is on how to create a new post. A post is just a blog entry that will appear on your blog page or your home page wherever you decided to create your blog. So in order to create a new post you can either click on add new here or in the upper right hand corner you can click on new post. So this is where you add a new post. So for the post title let's just call it new post and down here is where you create the body of your post. So there should be two rows of buttons. If you don't see two rows, you only see one, you want to click on this button at the end and it will bring up the second row of buttons. The text part is pretty easy. You can edit it pretty much just like any other word processor like Microsoft Word. You can make the text bold, you can change the text color. You can add links. You can add your link there. You can do a spell check. You can add a bulleted list or a numbered list. So those are pretty simple. Now there are a couple options up here that most people would use. The first one is add an image. So when the add an image box comes up, you want to click on select files and you can search your computer to find the picture that you want to add in. So let's say I want to use this picture. Then WordPress will compress the file for you so it's an optimal file size and then it will give you some options on how you want to display the picture. So the first line is the title. You want to make that title as descriptive as possible so Google has a better chance of finding this picture for your subject. So in this case we can just say sunset. You don't need alternate text. If you want a caption under the picture you can fill in this line. If not you can just leave it blank. I'll just call it sunset. You don't really need a description. Again, if you want to put in a description, that's great so Google can find your picture more easily, but it's not completely necessary. Under link URL, if you want the picture to be a link where if the person clicks the link, they'll get a full size version of your picture, then you can leave that in. But if you don't want it to be a link, you can just click none. The alignment, if you want it to be aligned to the left and have the text wrap around on the right, then you can select left. If you select center, only the picture will be in the center. The text will be above and below the picture. If you select right, it's kind of like left where the picture will be on the right, but the text will wrap around on the left. So just as an example, let's just do right. And then usually WordPress will give you the correct size for your picture so that it'll fit in your, in your page. So in this case it's telling us medium is probably the best size so we can just use that setting click on insert into post. Okay so now the picture is in there now let's put in some text okay and then we can say publish click on publish okay so it says post published now let's go to our blog and there's the new post so when we click on the new post we'll see the picture and the text so let me do a link example this is how to create a link. Highlight the text that you want to be linked. Click on the link button. And let's just, for an example, let's link this to Yahoo. And then under target, I can set it to open in a new window. And then click on insert. And as you can see, now the text is blue and underlined showing that it's a link so let's update okay so it says post updated so let's go back to our post refresh as you can see now the text is a link so let's click on this link it's gonna open a new page and now it's linked to Yahoo so let's close that and let's go back to our dashboard I want to show you one more thing let's say you want to upload a PDF or a, a Word doc or some sort of file, you want to use this last button here, add media. Okay, so let's go to a new line where we want the link to be. Click on add media and you'll get the same upload screen. So click on select files. And for an example, I'm going to use this Excel file that I have. So let's open that. Okay, so it'll give you some options, just like with the picture. So the first line is title. 
that's going to be the text that's actually linking to this file. So let's just call it Excel file as an example. Uh, you can put you can put a caption if you want, a description if you want, but those aren't necessary. So I'm going to leave those blank. You have to leave this link URL in because that's going to be the link to the file. And you can just click on Insert into Post, and you'll have a link to that Excel file. So let's update the page. Click on Update. Okay, so post updated. Let's go back to our website, refresh, and you'll now get this link to the Excel file. So when we click on the Excel file, it'll download that Excel file. So those are the basics of creating a post. If you want to learn more advanced techniques, stay tuned to my next videos. Thanks for watching.